she had a rough night celebrating the fact she's gonna get a curtain fringe today. All right, let me show you guys how to cut it with a tri razor. So right here, find your hairline, right? And I'll draw my line straight down the hairline. I'm gonna clip this back and away. Hairline straight up to the top here. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, we've got our big triangle like that. I'm going to take and cut that in half, twist it. Here is the edge of the eyebrow that we're going to. So here we go, just above the eyebrow. Here's a good way to do this. If they've got thick hair, you take the 25 texture side, which is right here. And first I go from the start of the eyebrow to the edge of the eyebrow. That's kind of a, a nice little rule there. So start of the eyebrow to the edge of the eyebrow one little kick. Now that takes out 25% of the hair. Now I go to the edge of the eyebrow and I can do my 100 cutting side across. So you see the texture, you see all the different lengths. When I comb this over, that'll give me a little kick. It'll open up the face. And this, like if it feels a little bit long, you can always cut into that. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Again, Start of the eyebrow, 25 texture. 25 over to the edge. That takes out 25%. Now I'll just go through 100, pass it down. And there we go. I'm going to hit it with an iron. If you had fine hair, you don't have to do the 25 texture, you should just cut through it. She needs a little bit more life in this cut. So what I'm gonna do is take up some of this on the side here. I'm actually going to go 50%, just kind of back and forth because the 50% gives me a little more textured edge. So it doesn't cut it all at once. You can see kind of how it pops some more texture in there. Do the same thing on the opposite side. So I use the 50 as my dry cutting blades. 50% is a lot of weight to take out when you're cutting a line in a haircut. So. See how soft that is. Now let me get a little spray in there.